Yes, Chief. But you know it was his report, in his words. Yeah, well, it's a fucking embarrassment. Yes, Chief. Do you agree with him? No. No, I don't agree. His fantasy theories are his own. Fantasy theories? I've never read as much shit in my life. One moment, Chief. We just got a call. They found another body. Where? Beside the lag and underneath the motorway. They're getting closer to town. Same ones? All of them. You won't need that. What? Code. It's pissing down outside. Chief's on the phone. Doesn't sound too happy either. The fuck is it now? Look, I head down to the body. All right, I'll meet you there. Chief, you wanted to speak to me? Oh, Jack, is that you? Yeah, is this going to take long? It's just they found another body. Well, hopefully it won't take as long as reading your report. My what? I've been over this report of yours three times already, and I still can't, for the sake of me, get my head round why you would chance pissing away a 12-year career in some fantasy theories on the fucking boogeyman. No, it, it's just a theory, Chief. Well, it's a shit theory, Jack. I was expecting a lot more from you, to be honest. I'm sorry. There's a body turning up on my doorstep every other day, and we're still not any closer to figuring out what the hell's going on. But we are. And we just have to approach it with a bit more of an open mind. Jesus Christ. Jack, I have never heard such bullshit. There's nothing but some lunatic psycho out there that's killing our citizens. Nothing else. Well, I think there's a hell of a lot more to it than that. Right, that's it, Jack. You're off the case. No more. Wait, wait, what? Uh... And only because of the good work you've done over the last ten years, I've convinced the board not to fire you. Thank you, Chief. 
but you are suspended as of now. But I... No buts, Jack. Count yourself lucky. I just bought myself a new car. You'll have to clear your office out, Jack. The board are going to review your case in ten months, but I'll try and get it knocked out to fix it. This is bullshit. I worked my ass off for you, and you can't get your tiny little Christian mind out of a book of fairy tales, so now you're going to take me off a case that I've almost solved. Fuck you! Fuck me? Now, you fucking pencil pushers, you're all the same. We go out and do all the work, and you sit there and take all the credit. You know, what right do you have to say that my theories are wrong, eh? Oh, okay, Jack. You're right. A suspension is wrong. Chief! As of now, consider yourself fired. But wait, I... We're done. Clear out your office by the end of the day, Jack. Goodbye.
do we have? Number 39. Caucasian male. Maybe mid 40s. Who found the body? Was that dog walker? She won't sleep right for a while. <laughs> Same mutilations as all the rest. Mm. Right eye missing. Both Achilles tendon slashed. No rat drain of blood. This is like all the others. 39, Hatcher. Who's gonna make a call on this? What do you mean? Public have to be made aware. Look, we set down a curfew in the interest of public safety. The I more people. And why is that? We announce anything after these amount of bodies. There'll be a riot. Probably will go crazy. And the hatred towards the police will only get worse. Jesus, I hardly think it's that bad. Detective Ward, it's not rocket science. This country is famous for its public taking control of things. Fine. Shh, 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 shh. What? I'm alive! Make me take my fucking phone off back
Come on in. So is this a friendly visit? You could say that. I found another one. Number 39. Really? Go on then, where? I know 23 bodies ago. You lost your spot. It's the finest detective on the force. I didn't lose my spot, Hatcher. I lost my job. Whatever. I'm still the best. That's why you come to me. So, Master Detective Jack Chaplin, what theory is on your mind now? Vampires? Cannibals? Zombies? Zombies. <laughs> No. This is definitely vampires. I'm kind of stuck on a theory, though, about the killing grounds. See, all the bodies we found in the past year have been in this area. And all the ones that we found while I was on the case were over here. Twenty-five in total. And we're slowly reaching the same number. Now that leaves me two areas that I want to... No, 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 oh, that's not on, yours, Jack. that's not yours. We were partners for seven years. What have you got to hide, eh? Nothing. Really? Really. I guess that's okay, then. you got nothing to hide, right? Unless... Unless what? Unless you happen to be the killer. Nice try, asshole. Nice try. If you must know, I'm trying to compile up some paperwork to go against my unfair dismissal. And that, that's just the start. I'm surprised I never locked you off with the theories you were given. Seven years leading our unit saved me from that. I suppose. But someone in such a position can't be spouting off fantasy theories on one of the biggest murder cases we ever seen. I'm making coffee. Do you want some? No, thanks. I better be going. Okay. Don't be messing with that. Listen, thanks for the heads up, Hatcher. You know I appreciate it. Joking aside, we will need you on top of this. Yeah, well, I'll let you know what I find out. Good. Enjoy the coffee.
fuck is that for? What the fuck? What are you? What the fuck? You sick bastard! Fuck off! Fuck off! Leave me alone! Fuck off! Doctor, hurry up! Come on! Fuck off! Go! Go! Fuck off! Fuck off! Leave me alone! Fuck off! Sick! Mentally ill! Man!
Hatcher, what's up? You're shitting me. Two in one day? Shit. Now I love you, Hatcher. <laughs> Where? Alright, that's not too far. I'm on my way.
This will make you happy. What do you mean? What the hell? I don't get it. I know. It's the first one to cure an axle wound. A wound would be a graze near so this, this, this is an attack. What? Fuck, it just puts a whole load of my theories off track. Sorry, look. Time's up. Better go. No, 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 this, this doesn't make sense. Up until now, I've been sure that the... The killer or killers have been draining the blood of their victims, kind of like a vampire. Like a food source. Right. But with the vast amount of bodies you've been finding, it's, it's almost like they're collecting for some sort of harvest. A harvest, yes. A blood harvest. You know how crazy that sounds, Jack. Thank you, detective. Constitution every time you find one of these. You never even flinch. When you've seen what I've seen over the years, you get used to it. They're no more disturbing than roadkill. You know, sometimes I really wonder about your mental health, Detective.
You fucking idiot! Detective Hatcher's phone. Yeah, hi. Um, I need to speak with Detective Hatcher, please. He can't speak right now. This is his partner, Detective Ward. Can I take a message? Yeah, just ask him to call Jack, please. Sure, Jack. Wait. Is this Jack Chaplin? Uh, yes, it is. Well, it's a pleasure to speak to you, sir. Detective Hatcher speaks very highly of you. I've heard some great things. Well... Thank you, Detective Ward. Not at all, sir. No. This message. Look, I need to trust you on this. Of course, sir. It's about the wild card case. I've been working on things from home, as Detective Hatcher knows. And I think I've pinpointed the killer's location. No way. Yeah, I'm gonna head there right now. But my only concern is that there may be more than one killer. Look, I'm gonna need backup off the record. Can you guys... We'll be there. Give me the address and we'll head straight over. Okay, Jack, no problem. We'll be there. We'll be right over. Goodbye, Jack. Who was that? Just the morgue. He wants to check in down at the meat counter.
What? Yeah, I'm here now. I phoned you up earlier. I spoke to your partner. Did he tell you? Look, I'm at the killer's location. It's an old farm just off Andrews Hill. Yeah, well, hurry up. I'll move it slowly. You're such a fucking idiot, Wolf. Do you know how much danger Chaplin will be in if this is the right place? Look, I've already apologized. Everybody knows the fucker's mad in the head, right? That's what got him fired in the first place, for fuck's sake! Oh, my God. 
Hi, Jack. Hatter. What's going on? I didn't want it to get like this, my friend. I tried to warn you. Many, many times. Well, I don't understand. You are my closest friend, Jack Chaplin. Best detective on the force. And as I had learned from you, I then had to think how to always be one step ahead. This is my family, Jack. We are not vampires. But we are not from this world. I knew it. Yes. Yes, you did. Unfortunately, those steps had to be extreme. Like ending your career. You did that? Of course I did, Jack. I had to be in control, and part of that was controlling you. Granted, when my kids were dumping the bodies in the beginning, you were pulling everything together yourself. That's where I learned how a detective works, and that's why I had to keep you back before you found us. And yet, 
here I am. Once I have worked up the ranks, I knew the case would be in my hands after you were gone. But even then you keep on looking, a true detective. So I kept on feeding you enough and threw a few hiccups in along the way. The tears on the back. You twisted fuck. I'm trying to be nice here, Jack. I still respect you. Fuck you, Hatcher, or whatever your name is. So go ahead. Why don't you tell me then what it is you're doing here, huh? Where are you from? Well, since it's not going any further, my name is not a word. It's a sound. We crash landed here 30 years ago. You called them the mid-80s, I believe. They were only babies. Mother died in the crash, and they needed fat. The farmer who owned this came out to the crash site. When he saw us in true form, it scared him so much, he fell dead with a heart attack. We were able to feed. We had never seen humans before, but we soon arrived at his farm and found his wife and children. By the time we got to the last one, we found that a particular way of killing them gave us the correct chemical balance in the blood that matched our food back home. So it's not just about draining the body then? I wish. We learned that by feeding from the back of the eyeball, they could obtain a stronger hit of the chemicals direct from the brain. This chemical can only be released when the person is drenched with pure fear. What? The invasion of the fucking blood farmers, hey? Hey? <laughs> Wait, the heels. Was I right about the heels? Of course you were. Who in the right mind isn't going to try and run from what they fear? You humans are used to having your food killed and prepared for you. Look, Jack, count yourself lucky. It was only my family that landed here. If half of our population had done the same, you human beings would be our cattle by now. This is ridiculous. You know how open-minded I am. If you'd have come to me sooner, I could have helped you. Half the fuckers that run this country are the ones that ruin it. I'd have gladly fed them to you. It'd been my pleasure. <laughs> Maybe I should have. You're right. But I just couldn't risk losing my family in this foreign place. Tell me, Jack, honestly. If you had a family to look after, to keep alive and healthy, would you not do everything in your power to make sure that happens? Unlike you humans, we feel everything from those we have made. Every bit of love and every bit of pain. I knew he was dead before I got here. Look, Hatcher, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I killed him. I know you are. I believe you. But you still have to pay for his life. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait, Hatcher. I'm sorry, my friend. I wish you had not been so clever. You have taught me so much in being a human. Wait, wait. D d d d just one more thing. Go on. The skin. How do you have human skin? I knew that would intrigue you. Our bodies host a fungal organism that can generate the skin of anything we eat on. Growing a human skin has become natural. It's a good thing you don't eat chicken, huh? <laughs> Do you know how much it could have helped us medically with those abilities? We would be hooked up to some machine for the rest of our days, so no thank you. Sorry, my friend, but I must get back to things. As a sign of respect, I will be the only one feeding from you. I appreciate that. Nobody move! Police! Help me! Help me! You should have stayed in the car, Ward! Jack Chaplin? Ward. Sorry for getting you into this mess, sir. I'm sorry I didn't buy into what you were saying. That's okay. We just need to...
You go after him. Just give me time to reload. Hatch is mine. Come on, Hatcher. You want to talk? Let's talk. No? Didn't think so. I'm trying to be nice here, Jack. Come on, Hatcher. This has to end.
suck on that, you alien vampire. Fuck. That's it, Hatcher. You need to give up now, or I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head. I'm sorry that it went down like this, but you need to make a choice. Just kill me. My family is dead. It's over. I want you to listen to what I'm gonna say. It may sound a bit harsh, but please understand what I'm trying to get across. In all these years that I've known you as a human, I've always found you to be a great citizen, giving, caring. After finding out what you went through for your family, I'd say you're probably one of the best parents I've ever known. Well, I hardly think the judge is gonna let you off because of something lost in translation. So here's the deal. As a human, you, Detective Hatcher, shall confess to the killings over all the years. And we, I mean Warden myself, promise never to reveal your secret as an alien here on our great planet. Now you know what it's like to lose someone this way. Think of the many families that you put in this situation. They deserve an apology, at least. They deserve an ending. Action. <laughs> Action! <laughs> we just got a call. They found another body. Where? Down by the wagon side under the motorway. Same one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do fuck all. Don't start. Beside the wagon, underneath the motorway, they're getting closer to town. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, that leaves me two areas that I want to focus. That's not oh, for come you, on, Jack. No. Let, let go we of the fucking for back. seven years. What have you got <laughs> Action. Don't look at the camera. Ready? <laughs> Action. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what got him fired in the first place, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> that must have looked beautiful. <laughs> Oh, oh 
shit. Oh. Oh. Right in the knee. Oh, you alright? Yep. Oh. Oh. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Let's practice parkour safely. Action. No, we want another life. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Look at him seriously, Drobby. They deserve an ending. They can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly what you were trying. As, exactly, no, but it was like, hang on, it was the shot I wanted, but because you said you weren't going to do it, I wasn't in the right position. Oh, it's the action. Action. Hands up. <laughs> 